So most people think that they can't use GPT or Claude because it's not HIPAA compliant, and they are right, but what a lot of people don't realize is there is a way to make almost any model HIPAA compliant, and it's not as expensive or complicated as you might think. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we solve that problem for our HIPAA compliant medical transcription app and how you can do it for your own applications. I'm Chris from Aloha, and I'm gonna teach you how to make almost any AI model HIPAA compliant. We were brought on by a medical group to build an AI transcription app, and we hit this wall immediately where we wanted to use the best models like GPT-4 and Claude, but they are not HIPAA compliant out of the box. If you're not familiar with HIPAA, it requires strict data handling processes and you need a BAA signed by any third-party providers that you're using, including these AI model companies, which guarantees that the data will not be used for training, which is a big concern for most companies. Standard APIs like going directly to OpenAI do not provide this, so they either don't do this at all or they use local models that live on their own servers, which are usually not as powerful as these cloud-hosted models. But here's the secret, there are actually cloud providers that do host these models and are HIPAA compliant and will sign that BAA with you provide your own dedicated infrastructure and really ensure that the data is secure. There are three main providers that people go with. It's either AWS Bedrock, Google Vertex, or Azure's OpenAI. AWS Bedrock lets you use the latest versions of Claude and Llama directly on AWS infrastructure. Vertex gives you access to the Gemini models, and Azure gives you access to OpenAI and a few other models as well. The key difference with going one of these providers that essentially provides the same service as the direct providers like OpenAI is it's on dedicated infrastructure. They will sign the BAA agreements, which will make you HIPAA compliant, and they do provide a couple of more enterprise-grade features that you don't get going directly to the provider. We'll keep the video simple. We're going to cover what models are provided, the pricing, and then if there's any cons with using this versus going direct. And we'll talk about our experiences as well. In terms of models, AWS actually offers the most of the Claude models, including Claude 4 Sonnet and Claude 4 Opus, which at the time of recording recently came out. They also offer the Llama models from Meta and the Titan models from Amazon and a bunch of other models that are listed here. Google Vertex provides access to Gemini Pro, Gemini Flash, some Palm models, and a couple of other open source models. And then Azure OpenAI focuses on the GPT-4 models like GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo, Dolly for image generation, and then a bunch of other OpenAI models. So let's talk about cost. What might surprise you is it's actually not a lot more expensive to use the models on these platforms. In fact, sometimes for certain models, it's actually a little bit cheaper. For the majority of the models, the pricing is basically identical with going to the providers directly. So if we look at the Claude models on Bedrock, the pricing is basically the same if you went directly to Anthropic and use the models there. Same thing with the OpenAI models in Azure. The cost is basically identical. And then for Vertex, it's identical for most models. Some models, surprisingly, it's a little cheaper to go in Vertex. And then for other models, it's more expensive to go in Vertex. I can't explain this price discrepancy, but it is on the whole pretty comparable to the direct providers. Certain features are a little bit more expensive. For example, Azure does add a hosting cost for fine-tuned models. But on the whole, pricing is pretty similar. In terms of implementation and ease of use, the implementation process is actually very similar to how you would go about implementing if you went direct to the provider. Providers as well. In our experience, there really wasn't that much difference between implementing Bedrock versus implementing Claude through Anthropic directly. Depending on the setup, there might be a little bit more you have to do for authentication, but that's because this stuff is a little bit more secure. While implementation was actually pretty straightforward, getting access to the models themselves was a little bit more challenging compared to signing up with Anthropic or OpenAI directly. All the providers do require you to submit an application and get approved to use the models, but from our experience, approval was very quick and easy. For Bedrock, the review process actually took a few seconds, so when we click the button, a few seconds later, we got access. For Vertex, it was the same, but we have heard that it takes one to two business days to get approval, depending on your account standing with Google. For Azure OpenAI, it took about a day, but we've heard that it could take up to a week to get approval. So depending on the provider you choose, there could be a little bit more friction than going direct to the providers. The only other con to mention, and it's a really small one, is the availability of the models. When you go directly to the model providers like OpenAI and Anthropic, the models are available the day that they're announced. But when you go directly to Bedrock and Vertex, there is a bit of a delay between the announcement announcement and the availability in these platforms. And it does seem to vary by model and provider. From what we've seen so far for the latest models, it seems like Bedrock is the fastest to get models out. It took less than a week for the latest Claude models to appear in Bedrock after they were announced. Vertex was a little bit slower. It took about one to four weeks on average for the new models to appear on the platform. And then Azure OpenAI was by far the slowest where it took about two to eight weeks for the latest models to show up. If having the latest models is very important or available to you, this is a con for you to be aware of when doing this. In our experience, we really didn't find 
find much difference between implementing with these providers compared to going direct. There really isn't much you lose by doing this and you gain a lot of additional security and the HIPAA compliance. And the good news is you can mix and match providers. So in our case for the transcription app, we use the Claude model to do the transcription cleaning. For some reason, it's just the best at cleaning transcriptions. And we're using the Vertex Gemini models to power a chat-based editing because it's very quick, fast, and cheap. So you're not really locked in and don't have to stick with one provider. In our case, we're using both of these providers pretty equally and we've had absolutely no problems. So you can actually use all three of these if you want. Aside from just providing these models, there's a ton of other features that all three of these providers provide. We'll probably cover it in a later video. One of the cool things you can actually do is host your own local models as well. So if you have a custom local model, you can load it up into AWS Bedrock, for example, and just host it directly. And you can use it just like you use the other models. So a lot of cool features here, probably cover in a later video. But I hope this was interesting for you to see how we achieved HIPAA compliance when it came to the models we were using. And it's really simple and way more affordable than most people think. I'll leave a link to our website below where we have a bunch of AI resources. We have a good, very frequently pushed out newsletter that talks about the latest stuff that's happening with AI. The stuff is really hard to keep up with. And I promise it's a really, really good newsletter. I actually read it every single time. And it's what's keeping me informed on what's going on in the space. And if you're interested in talking to me or someone else on our team about building AI for your business, I'll leave a link for that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.